Squeak, squeakity, squeak, squeak, and squeak tube. Hmm. H how was that, Kronk? I'm so proud of you guys. You know, Kronk isn't really a bad guy. He sure did get caught up in some nasty folk quite a few times, actually. But at the end of the day, he has a heart of gold and truly puts his friends first. I mean, how bad could the guy be when he's teaching me Squirrel for free? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. And today, I'm going to be discussing Kronk's false story. If you'd like to learn more about Kronk, I provided all of the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Kronk was born into the world on November 27th to a father who was very hard on him. You see, Kronk's father, Poppy, was a man with high expectations. You don't let a guy like Poppy down, or you'll get one of these. The cold shoulder, the frenzied eyebrow, the grimace of doom, sneer of despair, the crippling wince of guilt, the scowl of impending wrath, the nostril flare of total rejection. Kronk was a sensitive child who was interested in cooking, interpretive dance, and being a junior chipmunk. <laughs> You see, I was always different growing up. I was a junior chipmunk, uh, and I had to be versed in all the woodland creatures. While Kronk was content with these activities, his father wanted him to participate in more manly activities like wrestling in high school. In short, Kronk was a bit different from those around him while he was growing up, and these unique parts were not approved of by Poppy. This constant disapproval by his father led to years of Kronk hoping to one day achieve something that would gain his father's approval. All I ever wanted was a thumbs up from Poppy. Even though Kronk never gave up his hobbies and passions, his father still wanted him to settle down with a wife and a big house on the hill, and early in Kronk's life, he was willing to do anything to get it, as in become a henchman to a crazy lady who wanted to steal the throne from the emperor. And let's not forget Yzma's right-hand man. Every decade or so, she gets a new one. This year's model is called Kronk. He wasn't always the smartest guy. Yep. That's Kronk. But even while working for the insane dinosaur Yzma, he remained a man who made his interests known and led his life with a conscience. My shoulder angel. Don't listen to that guy. He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. I'm gonna lead you down the path that rocks. Kronk was willing to do a lot to get Yzma to the position of Empress. I mean, he did try to end Cusco with poison. But when it came down to it, he didn't want to end someone's life. His dreams to impress Poppy were important to him, and even though he was close to achieving everything beneath Yzma, he was unwilling to change who he really was. So, oh, what I miss? Well, Yzma just tossed me this knife and asked me to, you know, take them out. And then... Kronk questions the morality of what he is doing and knows it is wrong, so when Yzma crosses the line, he knows he is done working for this bad guy. I've never liked your spinach puffs. <clears throat> That's it. She's going down. From then on, Kronk was going to continue to work towards his father's approval without deceit and death. He then became a chef and a head delivery boy of Mudka's Meat Hut and volunteered as a junior chipmunk leader. Kronk was on the morally sound path, but unfortunately, due to his dim-wittedness, Yzma gets the best of him again and tempts him to achieve his big house on the hill by selling an elixir of life to his elderly friends. Through these means, he gets the house of his dreams, but as soon as Kronk realizes the elixir was ruining people's lives and was not even really doing anything, he gave them back everything he had taken. In addition to almost having the perfect home, he almost had the perfect girl. While working as a junior chipmunks troop leader, he takes his chipmunks to Champ Chipamunka for a troop competition and meets the most sensational woman, Miss Birdwell. Through making some bread, they become very fond of one another. It was a match made in heaven. But after Kronk's troop cheats at the competition and Kronk takes the blame, Birdwell would have nothing to do with him. Kronk just didn't have the life his father wanted, but he didn't want to seem that way, so when Poppy made an unexpected visit, Kronk did everything in his power to seem like his life was like what his father always envisioned. 
The ruse didn't work, but Kronk came to a huge realization. He wasn't rich with gold. He was rich in friendship. See, Poppy, you may look at my life and think I've got nothing. But the truth is, I've got everything. I'm proud of you, son. This moment of truth and clarity in Kronk finally led to the big thumbs up from Poppy. And Kronk's night wasn't even over. To make it up to Kronk for cheating at the chipmunk competition, Tipo reunites Kronk with Birdwell and they end up getting married and getting a house on the hill. Kronk's perfect life seemed complete, except there was still one other large event that happened to him. When Cusco is forced to return to school, Kronk is once again entangled in Yzma's lies and deceit, but he resists her cruel commands and over time becomes great friends with Emperor Cusco. For his friendship, in the end, Emperor Cusco gave him a very important position. Kronk was a bit different growing up, which made his father hesitant to accept who he was. This made Kronk search out success in bad places, but eventually he learned to follow his conscience and accept who he was. Kronk isn't just some silly henchman, he was a squirrel-speaking cook who loved his friends and everyone he met. Hello fun people, just to let you know, I have merchandise available over at WatsoStore.com and currently there is a sale going on for all of my Watso designs through today. So if you're interested in showing you love to spread the magic of Disney and want to support the creation of more magical videos, then go check out the Watso Store. If you enjoyed discussing Kronk's full story, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more magical Emperor's New Groove videos, then click that subscribe button. So now it's time for the question of the day. Who is your favorite character from the Emperor's New Groove? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, Thanks for watching and have a magical day. Squeak squeakin'.